A max term list is another compact way to describe the functionality of a logic circuit by simply listing the row numbers that correspond to an output of zero in the truth table. So if we take a truth table now, we have A and B, let's say we have F, and let's say that we had 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's do our example. We have 0, 1, 1, 0. And let's list the row numbers in there, 0, 1, 2, 3. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write an expression that says f is equal to. And what we're going to do is we're going to list all the row numbers that correspond to an output of a 0. So in this situation, we need to indicate that we have a max term list. So what we do is we use the capital letter pi. And then that, that signifies that this is a max term list. And then again, we have to put our input variables as subscripts, making sure to comma delimit them. Because remember, AB is a perfectly valid signal name. So AB is not the same as is not the same as A comma B. So we always want to have it comma delimited. And it's important to have the variables listed there because when you say row 0, row 0 could mean 0, 0, 0, 0, or it could mean 0, 0, depending on how many input variables you have. So you have to tell it that when I have two input variables, row 0 corresponds to a code of 0, 0. So now all we need to do here is comma delimit the row numbers corresponding to an output of a 0. So in this situation, it'll be row 0 and then it'll be row 3. Now let's compare that to a min-term list, which is a same, kind of the same approach, except that we list the row numbers corresponding to an output of a high. And they're equivalent to each other. So if I came along and I said f is equal to a min-term list, using capital sigma, I comma to limit the input variables as, as a subscript. And in this situation, I would then list the row numbers corresponding to an output of 1. So I'd have this. So notice that this is equal to this. It is the exact same, it is the exact same way to represent the information in a truth table. It's just that one lists the rows for when the outputs are zero, row numbers for when the outputs are zeros. That's the max term list. And the other one, the min term list, lists the row numbers for outputs in the truth table corresponding to a one. So they're equivalent in form to each other. The max term list is, is used because it is easy to go directly into a canonical product of sums logic expression or logic diagram.